So about 11 years ago in 2012, we finished up a Cessna 170 project. So fast forward now to this year, 2023, my dad and I put together a number two build as father and son, and it's a Cessna 195. This airplane we've done down to the details, and I mean details, of original 1948 Cessna 195. I decided to switch over and take over the business and continue it on after all the years of his hard work and building it. And, and we decided last year that we're going to make this happen. We're going to put together a 195 now, bone stock original. I've been collecting NOS parts that I found for about 28 years. And when we built this airplane, we opened up the cabinet that I've been stacking them in for all these years. It's really, really hard to make yourself open original packaging from the 40s and 50s. It was something he had accumulated a lot of parts and information and documentation and uh, even had a fuselage and a couple wings and some components already reskinned. Uh, there is still the interior to have accomplished by someone else, so that those were the things I started on first where we need to get that rolling, anything that we can't do ourselves. So, so the engine and interior were the two main things that could take a lot of time. That interior is rich. It just screams 1948, and it's got original materials that, were, that we had to have duplicated and made, uh, all the way up to control yoke overlays. Those were originally an acrylic plastic sheet, and in order to get those just right, we went through a bunch of them. It was a, it was a couple hour project just to do the paintwork on those. That was a lot of fun and I was able to utilize a lot of what he has documented but also found some new things that we hadn't discovered just by rummaging through uh, projects and parts and photos and documentation. What we didn't have uh, in new old stock parts, we fabricated. This aircraft has been down about as far as you can really logically go with one and that is down to two spar carry throughs on a table. About half of the wing ribs are new. Probably 25% of the, the ribs and formers in the fuselage are new. The flare panel is one of the coolest options, in my opinion, of the airplanes, because you don't see them anymore. My father actually had original flares that hadn't been fired off, uh, but they're fully restored. The tubes still have the original printing and labeling on them. Uh, we overhauled the tray. We even had to make a new placard decal. We actually printed that ourselves and, and duplicated it. With originality, it's all about history. And I think that's where my dad and I both find the most intrigue and entertainment in what can we discover. We'll thumb through a book four or five times, look at those same pictures, and then later on notice something different that we had missed. It's, it's just fun, it really is. This airplane has gotten a lot of attention uh, and it's, it, it's fun to hear the stories and people's eyes light up, especially when they open the door and realize that's sparking their memory of what they remembered flying around with their family back in the 40s, 50s, 60s. That's very rewarding knowing that we're, we're right, we, we got it right. It's, it's a time capsule in a way and, and the camaraderie, the, the uh, backing and promotion and uh, everything from the 195 group is, is fantastic. They're, they're all super excited to see more airplanes done original, which is a great trend that we're seeing with Vintage. I've had a vision in my head of what this airplane would be, because I obviously have intended to do original 195 for a long time. To see it all together, the, the thing I was telling my son is it's way better than what I had envisioned. Yeah, it's, it's, I, it's really hard. We would finish for the day and we would sit in the shop and visit and just stare at the airplane. It was just gorgeous.